What's up, you folk? Electric people. I go out on a bike ride with my new GoPro on my helmet. And, uh, maybe I'll get some content. I don't know. Maybe. I don't really want to say it's all about content. It's more about just getting my thoughts out in there. Like I, I might have mentioned in some previous videos. I don't know. Some of those videos are pretty long. This one might be kind of long too. I, I just don't know. Ugh, maybe try and keep it down to something a little less epic. Maybe splice here and there. Try and get the good parts. Maybe this intro isn't even the good part. Maybe I'll record a different intro. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know that I care that I don't know what I'm doing. But uh, I go for a little bicycle ride because of that's how I like to spend my day sometimes. I got 1,030 miles on this thing now. This is the Aerial Rider X-Class 48 bolt. I got the 48 for a couple of reasons. One of which is uh, saving some dollar bills. And the other is because of shipping. Like whenever I was ready to purchase, the 52 bolt wouldn't be shipping for another few weeks or whatnot. And uh, I'm not exactly a super patient person, so I figured, I figure you guys can't even hear me, but uh, maybe you can. So I'm gonna keep talking like you can. This is my first time ever using this camera. I certainly hope that I'm recording properly and everything. It's like 70 degrees out here, guys. I'm wearing a jacket, but that's just because of a... That's just because, you know, with the wind or whatever. And the sun's not exactly shining, but... Dang, it's nice out here. This is my first time with the GoPro ever. And I managed to get it on my helmet. So, forgive me for my goofy look-arounds every now and then. If I do so. Maybe that's just kind of, I don't know what's going to look good on camera. I do know it's a fish lens, and uh, I actually am, I'm a big gamer. I'm in the City of Heroes, which is an old game, but a great game. And um, they've got this thing called uh, Field of View, and it, it goes fish on it. So I know, like, I play it on maximum fish eye pretty much because everything just feels faster and cooler and neater and it's a video game, right? You're supposed to enjoy yourself. So I think I have this particular GoPro on fish fish eye mode right now. Kind of for the same reason. I've noticed that GoPro film, it just looks exciting. I could be going 12 miles an hour and it still looks sort of exciting just because of the fish eye skew. It makes the images seem to go by faster. It makes you feel faster that whole fisheye gimmick and uh i wonder if that's not what gopro is predicated on yeah i actually got this gopro for christmas it's right after christmas and uh my family knew i was videoing and whatever so they got me a gopro and a bunch of accessories and all kinds of stuff whenever really i was kind of backing off of video logging as you can tell i mean i don't really posted as much content as usual but uh this might get me back into it. And that largely was because of equipment constraints. Like my phone had like 18 gigs free for me to take videos with. And uh, that's really not a lot. I mean, and just juggling that and then Google complaining, ah, oh, your Google space is filled up. And all kinds of other garbage dealing with trying the video on my phone really just kind of slowed me down quite a bit. So maybe now that I've got a better setup, and some dedicated equipment maybe i'll get back into that whole video log idea thing don't go buddy it's not your turn you see that guy Jork. Jork. so like i 
I said, Aerial Rider X Class, 52 volt battery. Um, even though it's a 48 volt bike, uh, I've got a battery blended with the 48 volt that comes stock on the bike. And uh, mileage will vary with that. You know, the controllers aren't really made for that, but I took the risk and I got lucky. So I'm not exactly recommending a setup like mine. However, if you drain out your 52 volt battery just a little, then you'd be absolutely safe. But I do notice that the bike has got a little more pep whenever the 52 volt is fully charged because the controller is not really designed to handle that. So uh, I do get a little bit of extra performance and a little less battery drag having the battery blended like I have. But um, battery sag, I guess is the right term. But, uh, you know, regardless, um, be careful with your e-bike, you know, take risks that you feel are necessary for fun if you can afford them. Like, if I were to lose this e-bike, it's not the end of the world. It would set me back, sure, by, by maybe a, a few months or whatever. I, I, I would definitely take a hit if my bike suddenly blew up, but... It's not like it'd be the end of the world forever. It would just kind of suck. I'd go out on my tandem electric bike more until I got a new one. So I've got, you know, backup e-devices. If I do happen to break this one, which I don't think will happen. But, uh, you know, make sure that you can afford your risk. Because it's not their fault if you break your bike. You know, you can't say, Ooh, I overclocked my controller. You guys, your warranty, blah, blah, blah. No, that's not a warranty issue. That's a dumbass issue. Definitely be careful. If you're gonna be a dumbass. Make sure you've got the resources to handle being a dumbass. Beautiful weather today. Unreal. Old National Bank Center Point Energy. Ohio River. Get on a tricycle. Good luck, kid. You got a long. Long journey.